Yekaterinodar, Russia. Currently known as Krasnodar, Russia. Semyon Davidovich Kirlian was born February 20, 1898. He is thought to be one of the original founders of Kirlian photography. He was a Soviet inventor and researcher, a dedicated individual towards the study of electricity, who along with his wife, Valentina Krasantovna Kirlian discovered and developed Kirlian photography. Kirlian photography is a technique for creating contact print photographs using high voltage. The process entails placing sheet photographic film on top of a metal discharge plate. The object to be photographed is then placed directly on top of the film. High voltage current is momentarily applied to the object, thus creating an exposure. The corona discharge between the object and the plate due to high voltage is captured by the film. Similar studies were carried out as early as the 1700s. Semyon Kirlian is thought to have originated with the work and to publish one of the most successful studies of his time. Kirlian's work led to hundreds of similar studies. This also allowed the process to be used in medical form. Medicinal research The most common therapeutic use of Kirlian photography is as a diagnostic tool. Variations in the shapes, colors, and intensity of the images produced are said to provide clues to the patient's overall health and energy level and to indicate the presence or absence of disease, specific emotional states, and other physiological or psychological conditions. Although the Kirlians invented this photographic process in 1939, they didn't publicly release information about their experiments until 1958. Then, Kirlian photography didn't become a well-known phenomenon to the general public until 1970. UCLA 1968, a study was performed by Dr. Thelma Moss, a late psychology professor, headed the lab, which conducted scientific experiments in clairvoyance, telepathy and haunted houses until 1978. During the Kirlian photography phase, many claimed the results were paranormal. The electrified current displayed powerful colors. Long exposure pictures shown that even after removing a piece, there were still bits of leftover energy. We have very little understanding of what happens when such objects are subjected to a burst of electricity. We know that organic bodies are constantly exuding various gases, including oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and sodium chloride, some of which would ionize as distinct colors. And we know that different emotions affect the biochemistry of the human body so color changes are not unexpected. The Myth and Science of Kirlian Photography The first mythical explanations put forth about Kirlian photography were suggested by the Kirlians themselves. They believed that these photographs were depicting the actual life force or aura that many people believe surrounds all living things. Kirlian photography has been a staple of paranormal research for some time as well. In the 1960s and 1970s paranormal researchers connected it to many types of unexplained phenomena, one of which was telepathy. Researchers proposed that telepathy was the result of people's auras communicating together. Theosophists would point out that at best it does not prove the existence of deeper aspects of the human aura, since the aura shown is just a subtler form of physical matter nor does it offer any evidence for survival after death. Theosophy was thought to be a universal religion. Originally from Russia, its founder claimed it was not a religion, but a group of people who studied the occult. This was just one of the dozens of groups that disproved and tested the Kirlian photography method. This world is full of so much information we may never know at all. Of course this is a quick rundown on who and what Kirlian photography used to be and what it can become one day. So far the method hasn't proved itself useful besides the pretty colors it creates. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more fun, educational videos, new topics every Wednesday.